All right, this is gonna be a really quick one take video. There's no time for editing in two, three, or four of me or anything like that. The Maple Leafs acquired David Clarkson and a fourth round pick in the 2020 draft from the Las Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for Garrett Sparks. And just so that a lot of you don't freak out or anything like that, I just, I went onto Cap Friendly and I just threw this little thing together. It's negative $27,000 in cap space at the moment. I'm missing a player in the scratches. Let's just throw one of them up. Um, um. Okay, fine, Ben Harper, this is the only time you're going to be here because I'm in a hurry. So it's negative 752k to start the season here, but we can move Dermot or Hyman over to LTIR as well. I don't think that there's a limit on the number of players that you can have on LTIR. So, I mean, you just bump one of those guys over and they're fine. But this is also with Mitch Marner at $9.5 million, so I mean, I have him on a three-year deal here, but common sense doesn't dictate that that will happen, so... <sighs> I've been a content machine, okay? I have another video that should drop right after this one, which is much more put together, I guess you want to say, and I'm not so frantic and scrambling because I got a lot of stuff to do before I leave for baseball in like an hour or so, and it's going to take me at least 20 minutes to upload this video. But anyway, for those of you that are freaking out at the David Clarkson trade, do not. All the Maple Leafs did was buy a fourth round pick. There is no implications on anything else. All they did was buy a fourth round pick. Because if I go over to David Clarkson, Jesus Christ, this is going to be really bad. David Clarkson, he has one year left on his deal, but the real money on it right here, base salary is only a million bucks. So they, they're already going to go into LTIR as it is because of Nathan Horton. So they figured, why not just take on... Um, someone else slapped them on LTIR. There's no big deal of it. There's no penalty or anything like that. They're already going into LTIR, so why not go even further into LTIR and pick up a draft pick? They lose Garrett Sparks, and, you know, that's a whole other video by itself. I mean, it's unfortunate to see Garrett go. I mentioned in the Least Forever podcast with Andrew that this is a guy that I wouldn't necessarily bet against. He was told that he was overweight after he was drafted. He lost a bunch of weight. He won goal tender of the year in the AHL. He came up. He had a shaky season last year, but I'm willing to bet that he we he will rebound with another opportunity or so, maybe in a better situation or something like that. But I mean, I don't think he was in the Maple Leafs' plans anyway, so... The backup goaltender situation is looking a little bit more clear now. Not necessarily better than what it was before, but definitely a lot more clear. Uh, I should really scroll up so you guys can see the, the lines here and stuff like that really don't matter. It's just this number up at the top. Like I said, you can you can move uh, Zach Hyman over. You can move Travis Dermott over. You can move Zach Hyman back over here. The number will change a little bit. The Kyle Dubas is a lot smarter than I am, and he definitely has more than 20 months to figure this out. So that's basically what it is. I just wanted to let you guys know that there's nothing to freak out about, nothing to panic about. They just bought a fourth round pick. The joke going around Twitter right now is that the Leafs will, in fact, have to worry about the seventh year of the David Clarkson contract. As Dave Nonis pointed out when the signing first happened, oh, we won't have to worry about the seventh year, you know? It's just details. It's just extra little stuff. Um, Jesus, I don't know how that guy ever had a job. But anyway, I'm really sorry for the rush video. I'm really sorry if I was incoherent or stuttering or anything like that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click the like button. Check out the video after this because that's going to be a lot better. Um, it's, it's about Mitch Marner. So look out for that one. Take care, everyone.